Hello everyone. I hope that you're having an absolutely fabulous day. I know that I have already made a video showing the setup of this, my home slash catch-all planner for 2023, but we all know that no self-respecting planner girl is going to start the year out without having her 2023 word of the year and her 2023 goals set in place. So I have finally completed those and added those to this planner and I am going to show those to you right now. So when you open up this planner, and I love this page, this was such an accidental find. I was looking for some stuff for my granddaughters for Christmas and found this in Ross for $6.99 and I had to have it. So every day is a fresh start and that is so true. I love it. So when you open it up, you have my word of the day. And I may have gone a little crazy with these florals. I love florals. All the floral stickers, I am here for them. So my 2023 word of the year is thrive. Right here, I wrote down the definition. Thrive is to grow or develop vigorously, to flourish to prosper, to be fortunate or successful. And this kind of tells where Thrive came from, like the origin of it, and other words that correlate with Thrive are to bloom, to grow, to shine, to rise, and to progress. This is going to be me. I feel like for the last two years, at least since 2020, my life could be summed up in one word, which is survive. We've gone through a lot. Everybody's gone through a lot. The world has gone through so much since 2020. And I feel like um, situations and certain experiences have put me in a place where I've just survived. I've gotten through. And so I am claiming that 2023 is going to be the year that I thrive. Right here is my invitation to thrive. And it is to become stronger in all ways, to believe in myself, to pursue my creative goals, and to build better relationships. It is my one little word, which is my word of the year, and I'm using this quotation from Maya Angelou that says, My mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. So this is my word of the year is to thrive. On the back of this page, I actually broke it down and kind of created a word for each month. I put this quote here that says, time is too slow for those who wait, too swift for those who fear, too short for those who rejoice, but for those who love, time is eternity. I love that. So my words for each month are January, conquer. If you follow my videos, then you know that we've recently been put in a situation where our, our home life is about to have a huge upheaval and change. Um, we're actually moving um, for circumstances that were completely unplanned, unexpected, and out of our control. We are moving. So packing up, moving from one house, cleaning out the house. Um, unpacking, getting settled into a new house, and working two jobs, and babysitting my two-year-old grandson, all at the same time is going to be, it's going to be a lot, but January, we're going to conquer that. February, the month is focus. Once we get settled in and kind of catch our breath, we're going to focus on the things that need to be done. 
March is mindful. That's my birthday month, and it's when we're getting ready for spring. So it's about just kind of taking in everything and just being, just kind of being present and mindful. April is a line. We're getting, you know, we're getting hard into spring. You know, the seasons will be changing soon. It's just kind of aligning everything. Um, my purpose, my plans, just kind of getting in a place of alignment. May is balance. Days are going to be getting longer, warmer. Want to have some work-life balance for sure. Want to be able to get out and enjoy time, space, myself, my family, my friends. June is to create. It's the halfway point of the year. Let's get started. You know, we've we've moved, we've gotten settled. Now it's time to start, you know, kind of creating something. <laughs> create something. July, I added focus again, and that's because we've passed the halfway point. So it's time to focus on the second half of the year, kind of see where my goals are, kind of see where my ideas are, where I'm at, and what needs to be done to complete the rest of the year and come in strong with my goals. August is acceptance. It's summer. You know, that's when everybody kind of takes a little more of a laid back approach to life. And I just want to, where I'm at, you know, the place I'm at in my mind, in my health, in my life, in my home, I just want to accept things and learn to be okay with things. September is growth. It's fall. Fall is coming on. And we're looking at the last of the year, the, the rounding out the end of the year. Just kind of see areas where I can grow. October is clarity. And that's just kind of like really looking at the year in review um, with an open mind and just kind of like really having a good understanding of where I'm at with my goals. November is embrace and that's just having a lot of gratitude, um, being really thankful and mindful for family. <sighs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it stopped recording and I didn't realize it, but November is embrace and that's just about being grateful and, you know, spending time with family, friends, just appreciating the holidays and just kind of taking that little bit of needed self-care, slow down, take some me time. And then December is dream. And that's just kind of, you know, allowing myself to dream for the next year. So these are my words of the month for each month of 2023 with Thrive being my overarching word of the year. I also created this 23 for 23 page. Now, these aren't specific goals. They're not, I guess, considered smart goals because I don't have a time set on any of them. These are just 23 things that I would like to accomplish in 2023. And they include getting my addiction recovery certification, teaching my first Zumba class, I've always wanted to be a Zumba instructor. I love Zumba. And in 2020, when we were all like, you know, housed in, uh, in quarantine, I actually took the training online and become a certified Zumba instructor. I have maintained that certification, but I have, as of today, still never taught my first class. Um, get my online coaching degree lose 100 pounds. Now, I'm giving myself a whole year to do it, and that is actually a realistic goal. Pay off my credit card debt. That might sound a little bit ambitious, but the truth of the matter is, is that I really have less than $10,000 worth of credit card debt. So, paying that off in a year can be an actually a realistic goal as well. Selling books on KDP, which is Kindle, 
getting a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Um, I used to never set goals for YouTube because I never really considered, you know, that I would ever be anything or anyone on YouTube, but it, it would be nice to just reach that milestone. And I appreciate every single subscriber that I currently have. Planting a garden. We're gonna have a, the house that we're moving to actually has a decent little backyard where the place that we currently live does not. And so I would like to have a little garden. Practice daily journaling. Get a new car. Now don't get me wrong, I love my Camaro. My Camaro is like, it is my dream car, I love it. But I have my two-year-old grandson that lives with me currently. And I have three other grandchildren, well, four, but three of them that I haul, I guess you could say haul or transport in my Camaro in car seats. And I can tell you that a Camaro is just not really the most practical car to have children in car seats in. So I would like to get a different car for that purpose. Do three 5Ks. Now, I did a couple of 5Ks this year, and I loved it, and I would like to do at least three for next year. Write a book. That sounds crazy, but I have just had this idea toying around in my head forever. Uh, when I was a teenager in high school, I loved writing short stories, and my English professor always encouraged and fostered my love for writing, and I would actually like to see if I could do something with that. Uh, be more consistent on social media posting. I always try with the, the Instagram and Facebook and TikTok and different things, but I never, I will like post something two or three days in a row and then I won't post again for a month. So I'd like to be a little bit better about all of that. Pay off my work loans. So I have like a small little loan from my credit union. And the hospital that I work for has this thing called uh, Purchase Power, where you can actually buy an item and they will do a payroll deduction out of your, directly out of your paycheck. So a couple of months ago, I got myself a new computer because my laptop was six years old and most days I could barely even get it to turn on. So I did update my computer and I would like to go ahead and pay that off. The next one is to quit all of my part-time jobs. If you follow my channel, then you may know that I work three jobs. Um, although door dashing hasn't been very consistent in the last couple of months, because now that my daughter is working, I do keep my grandson in the evenings when she's at work. So that kind of eliminated a lot of the time that I had available to do DoorDash but I still work a lot of hours at the hospital. And because I have a primary full-time job, most of my hours are overnight hours from like, they're either from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. or 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. And sometimes that gets rough to work a full-time day shift job and then work eight hours overnight too. So I would love to get myself in a position where I could cut back on some of all the jobs that I work. 16 is to create better content. I am really enjoying doing YouTube and posting on Instagram, but I would like to have like really good quality um, content that inspires someone, that motivates someone, that, that educates and encourages. And so I would like to just build really good content. 17 is host a family dinner. Once we get moved into our new house, I would love to host a family dinner because where we live currently, our driveway is horrible. My dog. It's steep. The yard is steep. It's sloped. No, and I'm an hour away from everyone. So no one ever wants to come to our house. So I love having Halloween parties, uh, Super Bowl parties, um, just hosting dinner parties. And no one ever wants to come to my house. So once we get settled in, I would love to host a dinner. Um, bye Bye Bingo Arms. That's kind of something that I'm working on that's fitness related. 
do all of my Christmas shopping without credit. That would be a huge one for me. And that would kind of go in line with paying off my credit card debt. I would like to do a little bit of shopping throughout the whole year and purchase something for everyone so that when December comes around, I don't have to worry about any credit whatsoever. Take the dogs for monthly hikes. They love it, especially Chimera, our girl. She loves to go hiking and I would like to take her out for hikes at least once a month. Declutter the house by room. And one thing that I mean by that is because as I'm trying to kind of pack up, start packing and kind of get an idea of, you know, just a real good idea of things to get ready to move from one house to the other. We downsized a lot when we moved to Fort Myers. So we didn't have a whole lot when we moved into this house in 2020. But in the last two years, we've accumulated a lot of things. So as I'm packing each room to get it ready to move from one house to the other, I would like to really evaluate what I have and declutter and downsize as much as possible. Baby bounce back. That's another thing that I'm working on kind of related to the bye bye bingo arms. It's fitness related. I'm kind of trying to put together my own little fitness routine. And 23 is to visit Florida. We moved there to Fort Myers in 2018. We only got to live there for a year and we haven't been back. Now, the hurricane hit this year, earlier this year, and really destroyed so much of the Fort Myers area. And it's heartbreaking, but we want to be part of the rebuilding because that was our home. We still consider that part of our home, one of our homes. And so we want to kind of help contribute and put money back into Fort Myers area. So at some point this year, we want to go back and visit Florida, to the, specifically the Fort Myers and Sanibel area. So these are my 23 for 23 goals. And then I have lastly, a 12 week year planning sheet. And I broke the year up. And instead of putting like January and April, whatever the months that the 12 weeks start, I just put the end dates. So by the end of March, I need to get these six goals done. By the end of June, by the end of September, and by the end of December, I only started with my first six goals for my 12 week year planning. And I'm also using this habit tracking journal that I'm gonna be using. I did a video showing these journals and I'm gonna be doing my 12 week year in this. So I went ahead and wrote for week one, the main focus is gonna be packing and decluttering, but I wrote all of these six goals down and then an action step like to get my 10,000 steps a day in, I can do my 275 hard workouts. That should help me get my 10,000 steps. Take a Zumba class, look up local classes, their schedules, how much their cost is, do they have drop-ins, just stuff like that. Uh, create four journals, work on covers. And then I put the action steps down here in my habit tracker and I will just fill in each each day next week, like what specific workout I'm doing, something specific I need to do in, related, in relation to my action steps. So that is gonna be my 12 week year planning guide. And so once I complete these, I will start on my next 12 weeks. So this is my goal planning pages and my word of the year for 2023. So I'm going to work on my 12 week year goals, which are broken down into six categories, like um, financial, personal, physical, you know, the, the main basic relational things. 23 things I would like to accomplish in 2023. So these are kind of goals to work on. My word of the month for each month of the year. And then my overall word of 2023, which is to thrive. So 
If you've made it to the end of this video, as always, thank you so much. It means so much to me when you take time out of your day to watch my videos. Put in the description box. I'm not in the description. Put in the comments below. What is your word of 2023? I would love to know your words. And I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.